Hi, I'm Stephanie from Renovation Baby. Welcome to our garden tour. We purchased our house in about five years ago um, and we've slowly been renovating it throughout because it was stuck in the 1960s when we bought it. Um, the garden has been slowly been changing over the years and um, making it adaptable space to use for us to be able to use with our family. Um, we have three children and me and my husband. This summer we wanted to complete this large patio area here. Um, we used to have the dining table here, um, however we built a little patio out the area at the top where we can sit and have our dinner and then this area where we have the sofa um, is a perfect space to be able to chill out. It's nice and private um, and not too overlooked. These little bay trees were a bargain, they were 50% off in um, B&Q, so I purchased some plant pots, filled it up with lavender and planted in the bay trees and it kind of just hides all this pipe work a bit from the plumbing. Um, it makes your eye drawn to those rather than the actual pipe work, so that's nice. Um, do keep an eye out in your local garden centres for like 50% off. Sometimes the plants need a little bit of love and care but usually they're absolutely fine. So this area there, that is our dog toilet patch. It's tucked out the corner, it's where he does his toilet in so we don't have to worry about the grass. Um, it, the bamboo is going to grow soon so hopefully we'll hide that. As we don't have any room in our house for all these cushions from this new outdoor sofa, we had to purchase a cushion box for our sword. Um, this is water resistant liner here, um, which it's zipped up and velcroed into the cushion box. It's really large, I mean the sofa has eight seaters, so it's got a lot of cushions and it does pretty much fill it with a bit of space to spare. Um, nice solid lid, really well built, so this was £289.99 from Wayfair. This is our char broil barbecue, this is about £300, um, it's a gas barbecue, brilliant, no complaints at it, cooks the food lovely, really quick. So around here we positioned the sofa, um, like I said we did have the dining room table on this area but we wanted to have a space that was a bit more private to be able to chill out. So the sofa was from Groupon, uh, it's about £600, it comes with a coffee table um, and two little stools underneath and so it makes it an eight seater cushion. All the cushions are removable and easy and they're water resistant. Um, the throws were purchased from Ikea. I was a bit concerned that I was going to get it from Groupon, what was the quality going to be like, but it was absolutely fine. Um, I've got no complaints about it at all, it's really comfortable, we've been using it a lot. We like to have um, encourage wildlife into our garden as well, so my daughter's been looking after the birds. So around here was the coffee table. It's been brilliant. It has been brilliant to have a coffee table outside for work because that's when you're out here with your drinks. And the best of all, the two little stools can store underneath the coffee table as well. So they've also got cushions for each of those. You've got two additional seats. My tea was brewing ready for me when I had done this video. <laughs> so down here we got the white gravel. We purchased this from Gravel Master. Um, we did our research on where to purchase our gravel from and it was one of the cheapest places with delivery and things like that for what we were buying. Um, really pleased it came on a pallet. Delivery was absolutely fine. These tiles are from Tile Mountain, they're Dunstan porcelain tiles, they work out about £21.99 a square metre, they're so lovely, you can have them indoors or outdoors. Um, we painted the floor, it was like a concrete, stony rubbish, um, so we painted this with Dulux web shield in smooth masonry in concrete grey. It's quite blue in the picture but it's, um, it matches the fencing really well. So we've also had a load of um, new outdoor lighting installed, this is my Philips Hue outdoor lighting, um, can all smart control so you can use it from your phone, um, absolutely brilliant, um, I'll put a link in the description for the full video for that because they're really lovely. This is my Hawes Copper indoor watering can, it's absolutely lovely, it's from Farrah and Tanner. Um, it's £50 so it would make a really lovely gift for someone who's a gardener. It's such good quality and looks amazing. 
this is um, a really lovely big space now because the sofa is quite big um, but we've got space for everything on the patio as well as a walk space for everyone to get through. Um, I also wanted to let you know that the uh, fence colour is um, from Johnson's Night Shore. Um, I often got asked about that one because it's such unusual for somebody to paint their fence in such a lovely colour but um, we're really pleased. Um, so I also wanted to keep a lawn space for the children to play because they love playing out in the garden, they love running around. So we're really lucky to be sent um, this lovely apple crate from Vintage Apple Crates for $29.99 it is. I don't have my garden tools in it but the children have their garden tools in it. Um, so they've been playing with their toys in the garden and having the lawn is perfect for them to be able to run around. So along this fence line I've got um, my apple tree, didn't do many apples at all this year, um, my cherry tree and a pear tree at the end. Um, that did alright, I've got some on there but yeah I'm not a gardener so we're not quite sure what happened there. Um, these are the Philips Hue spotlights, these go in the foliage and they have like 16 million colours to choose from. Um, absolutely brilliant, they light up the garden in so many colours, they are brilliant, it looks great. So we've got the children's trampoline here and then the children's play area. Um, we only we managed to pick up this on eBay second hand, um, built it in the garden for them, they were chuffed to pieces. They still managed to argue because obviously there's only two seats. Um, but yeah, it's um, I give it a paint up each year to try and protect the wood and look after it. But yeah, the rubber chippings are from decorative aggregates. Um, they're brilliant if they fall off. Um, so you hit, see here this pole? I have an old fashioned washing, washing line, which I think everybody should have because they are brilliant. It dries the washing so quickly. As you can see, this is where our dining table is. It's six seater, so this little space that we built here with the same tiles as on the big one is perfect for this. I'm trying to create a bit of screen in here with the plants. Um, and we've got a little magnolia tree here, which my husband says is a stick because we pulled, we had to take down a massive magnolia tree that took up the whole garden when we moved in. So we've replaced it by a small one as a little uh, sentimental thing. So the flower beds are here. We're at some point going to fill these up with the white stones, I think, from the gravel on the patio. Pulls it in and a bit of weed control. So the tab in the table here is brilliant. I don't mind the neighbours looking down seeing me eat my dinner. It is nice though to be able to have the sofa a little bit more private and to be able to relax a little bit more. So round here we've got um, an outdoor cushion for Gus the dog. This is from We Love Cushions for £85, old Queen Vic. And um, yeah, he loves that. He loves snuggling up on that. So I hope you like my garden tour. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I will pop the link to the blog post which will show you all the details of everything and where I've got everything from. Thank you for watching and um, please give me a little click and subscribe if you want to. Thank you.